All right, man, another unboxing video. This one is from Amazon, and uh, the other one was from eBay and Auction I One, which is a 3950 Ryzen 9 X. And having bought that, I needed to get parts for two new CPU rigs. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to build some CPU rigs and then be done, have enough, make myself happy, and uh, keep mining on. So what did I get in this Amazon box? I got my... I just didn't want to spend too much on these. I just got uh, two power supplies, 650-watt bronze. Just, again, 50 bucks. I didn't want to spend 100 bucks on a power supply when I'm just running a CPU. Um, yeah, most of them I wanted at 750. They went up in price to like maybe 70. I can't, maybe more, but I don't want to spend that. Uh, just trying to keep this low cost because again, buying only what I need because I don't want to overspend. Don't waste money on stuff you don't need to where it's not going to make you money. So, you know, you can buy the top end rigs, the racks, the frames, and then you can be, uh, you know, couple thousand dollars into it and it's like are you ever gonna get your roi on that no that's why i know rigs you see online used to be cheap 50 bucks and that now they're like 300 bucks and people are you know they look great they stack and people they look fancy schmancy i just don't guys you're spending a lot of money just to look good it's like don't keep up with the joneses and uh i don't know how, how are you going to get your money back on all that stuff you just i think put the money in the stuff that makes the money like the CPU, the GPU, you know what I mean? I don't know, just, just my rant. It's a cost cut, not cost cutting, it's just economics. Just don't overspend on the fluffy stuff. Uh, like me, geez, man, I got a wood rack in there. You know, made it for seven bucks, I got two of them. Uh, and I got a wire, a couple wire racks you guys have seen from Home Depot for 30 bucks. I mean, come on. And you know what, it's still mining and it's making money and the ROI will be a lot faster. Than if I spent 250 bucks on a Veta frame or something silly, you know what I mean? Looks great, looks great. Okay, good. You win, you win. Looks, looks reward. Look, look points. But who gives a crap? All right, what do we get here? That was my little rant. Sorry, I'm just trying to teach people. I teach my kids, man. Just you don't need to spend the money on stuff you don't need to spend the money on. Come on. It's uh, better to want sometimes than to have, right? Sure, I like to have nice racks like in my server rooms at work. But uh, I don't have thousands and thousands of bucks to buy Dell Towers, right? All right, we have a solid state drive, baby. This is your 120 gigabiter. And what do we got going on here? There's the part for you guys. I love these things. I wish I would have known about them sooner when I started to build all my rigs. Because, again, this, this plugs right into the motherboard. Is your SATA drive. I'll put Windows on it. Is that focusing? There we go. But I'll put Windows on this puppy and then uh, just start CPU mining with it. And I like these because I used to buy the Kingston SATA with the SATA cables. But then the things hang over the side. You got to put, you know, attach them to something. It's just a pain in the butt. I would have spent a couple bucks more and get one of these and just have it all part of the motherboard, you know, clean, clean install. So that is where I'll spend a couple extra bucks just to make the install and the rig a little bit, a little bit cleaner. And it's only about two bucks, right? All right. What, I got two of those puppies. Again, I'm building two new CPU rigs. I got some foam cushy stuff I can pop. Um, you know, it says recycle on these things. Uh, has a little recycle thing right there. But when you look at your recycling bins, they don't take the stuff. It's, I don't think they recycle. I, I really think, and other people have said this too, and they've seen the waste management guys do this. You put recycling, they pick it up separately, but it all gets dumped in the same spot with the regular trash. Yeah, because again, it's not, they're not making any money off recycling like they used to, and they just dump it in with the general trash. It's just more of a fee-fee thing. My feelings, I feel great that I helped the, the world, but now it's all going in the same place. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, guys, race fans, hot rodders, we have the CL14 
Um, memory, the Flare X. God, I hope that's the right one. Did I get the right one? Eh, all right. That's the beauty of Amazon. I'm not a love with Amazon, but if you need to return stuff, if you need to return Amazon, they make it easy. But again, I think I did get the right one here. It won't focus. There we go. DDR4, 3900CL14. Four CPU mining performance. Oh my God, what else did I get? Ooh. Oh, these are blue blockers. Uh, if you stare at a computer all day, you will put these on. I'm going to try them. And uh, it'll keep that Blu ray crap getting into your brain and frying you. I don't know. It's just the blue blockers from the. Uh, the emissions of uh, computer screens and if you sit in front of them all day which most people do that's the world we are in now most people don't work with their hands anymore like you know outside they're inside staring computers but i'm going to see if these actually make a difference uh just an eye strain and uh headaches stuff like that i'm just curious it may take a while to figure it out but i don't know we'll figure it out uh what do i have left i have oh my god i need two motherboards so i have two motherboards used i bought coming i got the memory i got the drive i got the power i need the motherboards i have one more cpu coming nine ryzen 9 x i did win on an auction i got that not too bad for oh i forget the price 325 open box yeah i, I was incredibly low for a ryzen 9 open box not even used and installed so we'll wait and see if we get that uh and then once I get that into two motherboards, I think that is it. I'm probably missing something. Motherboards, memory, drive, power. See, no, that's it. And we'll be good to go. And I'll get these puppies up mining. I'm going to build up some Pulsar coin. And uh, blah, 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 switch to uh, Raptorium after I get a nice bag of... I want to get maybe 10,000 Pulsar if I can do that. Uh, that may take a while because I have a thousand. Do I have a thousand now? Yeah, I have a little over a thousand now. And I went back to solo mining it just to see because I put the SRB miner improved miner on there that gives me 25% boost in performance uh, hash rate on Pulsar coin, which is cool. SRB miner. Yeah, and uh, I just want, and I also am getting staking rewards, which is cool on the um, Pulsar core wallet. I'm getting. Now and then I'll hit 90, you know, as your staking reward, which is really cool. It's a cool business model. Again, it's, we're talking pennies, but again, pennies could turn into dollars and it's all in a way speculation, but uh, I think it's a kind of interesting hobby just to go out and speculate in some of this stuff. And you start learning. You learn about other coins, other ways to uh, CPU mine. Then you start going, well, what about ASICs? And you start thinking, well, should I just be getting ASICs? Because they maybe you get better performance per watt usage, but then trying to get one's a pain. I don't know. But And then you're also dedicated to one algorithm, which may not be bad. Like script, you get Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, all that stuff. And Litecoin may be a huge player. Uh, they're doing a halvening next year or something like that. And I, I do hold Litecoin. I'm down big, so that's the way it goes. Uh, yeah, I got really into the Litecoin wagon back in uh, oh, 2016, 2017. And that's the old lesson learned. When, you, when you're up, take some profits. But I didn't. I held, and then it went down to 85%. And then it went back up to 400 over a year ago. I went, damn, I should have dumped it again. But I, again, you get greedy. FOMO. And I'm going to hold. I'm going to just take your freaking profits. Because you know... With crypto, it's going to go back down, and then it's going to go back up. And that is a positive thing because you can, not that I have, <laughs> but you can, in hindsight, make profits that way. And so what? You just have reportable taxable income. Just keep track of the crap. It's no big deal. You know, use cointracking.info, and there's a link below for that. Just sign up for it. It's, it's not that much. It's worth it. Uh, yeah, so there we go. That's the game plan, folks. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to be building CPU rigs, but... Always go against the grain because everyone else, oh, I'm going to sell my rigs. It's not profitable. GPUs aren't profitable. Mining is like, hmm, well, good. Let the GPUs come down a couple more bucks. I still think they're a little high yet. I want to come down, got another 100, 200 bucks on like a 1660 Super. 
I'll let that cut below 300. And it's, yeah, maybe it's getting there. It's getting like mid 30s. I've seen some for 329 on new egg. That's rare, mostly 350. So it's got to come down 100 bucks. That'd be an awesome sweet spot. But then again, do I want to buy that or just put the money into an ASIC or just buy the freaking coin outright? So that's a lot of decision uh, to, to figure out what, what best way to utilize the fiat money when you're buying equipment or just invest in the coin and stake it. Because you can buy Pulsar coin and start staking it and maybe you're not even worried about an ROI on your equipment. You're um, immediately making money by staking. So there's always that school of thought. You have to you know, maybe divide it, mine and then stake, buy, stake. You know what I mean? There's just a different, different routes to go through. So that's something to consider. Uh, which is a good thing. There's many options to make money with crypto mining, passive income through staking, uh, proof of work, all that. I mean, um, smart nodes and uh, you get the interest and stuff like on Voyager. So, yes, yeah, sign up for Voyager, guys. That's a great platform for um, making interest on your crypto. But it's risk, too, because they, they have your coins. So you have to think about that. Is, is the risk worth the squeeze? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might put the stuff back into my wallets, my hard wallets. I mean, my, uh, yeah, my, my uh, cold storage, just lock her down. But you never know. I just don't know yet. I'm sure I'm going to figure it out. All right, so that's where I'm at. Ten minutes in. Open box. Got some power supplies. Cool memory. Uh, SATA drives. Solid state drives. I mean, and um, 120 gigabytes. And we are ready to roll almost. Two motherboards. I'll check the Amazon shipping and see when they're coming. And those are used x570s we'll show you those when they get in and i don't care if they're used if they don't work i'll just return them again that's why i say one good thing about amazon they'd have no issue taking back motherboards uh or any item most general even a gpu that took them two weeks to look at it and give them my money back it wasn't even opened i just returned the amd what the hell was it um oh my god i'm drawing a blank uh 30 60, 70, 100, 60, 700 X, I don't remember. Uh, one of those cards. Uh, that's it, man. I'm just mumbling, bab babbling on about my boxy, my box stock beer. And uh, yeah, go forth, guys. Do great things. Keep mining. Just keep mining. It's a good hobby. And you may make some money. In it. Uh, I don't know if you better buy a Lambo. I don't know why you would. I always laugh at those videos. If you're going to make a lot of money, dude, that is financial freedom. Doesn't mean you have to go sit and stare at TV all day, it means you're financially free. To go work where you want, work on what you want. You don't have to work for another guy unless you want to. You can start your own thing and you have enough money in the bank to pay your rent, your bills. Boom, that's a win. That is a win in life. You go buy a stupid car, a Tesla, a Lambo, and drop all that money. That's stupid. You're buying a depreciated item and you're locking all that money up in that car. That's just not smart. You got to get that money, make all those little dollar soldiers to go out and make, you know, t uh, make more soldiers. You, know, you want to, you want that money to grow then for you in a smart way. Don't risk it all and lose it. But yeah, I just like, oh, I'm gonna buy a land, but why? That's just shows immaturity. And it's like people that win the lottery, they're broke in a year. Same mindset. No, you just got this money. You are financially free, or you're working towards it. That is the goal in life. Sitting in a cube, working for someone else who demeans you and hates you is not a good life. And you are not part of a company, a culture, a family. That's crap they push today and people fall for it it's all brainwashing because when they have to cut you or lay you off or the contract ends or something guess what they're not your family anymore they're not going to pay your rent they're not going to pay your mortgage they're not going to feed your family they don't give a crap they won't even call you anymore 99% of the time you won't even talk to these people anymore and that's true it's just such bull crap working in the corporate world you're better off working for yourself or with like-minded people that get it and it's a small minority that get it and a lot of people are just douchebags, and that's why I always push for financial freedom. Don't buy crap you don't need. Get the money and be your own boss. That's the goal in life, man. Work a job, a job is just over broke. J-O-B, a salary is just paying you enough just to keep you compliant and showing up the next day. You know what I mean? You never notice salaries are just enough in general to pay your mortgage, pay your food bills and then have maybe a couple extra bucks to put in your 401k and maybe maybe a couple extra bucks to save for a, a vacation with your family. Never an abundance a month amount that it's like, hey, I just got a huge check every month. No, it's always just enough to keep you coming back the next day. It's 
you know, it's, it's just the way the world is. Uh, but if you can see through the matrix and uh, just become financially free. All right, beating a dead horse on that one. All right, thanks for watching. I'm out.